friends, I'm Dr. Rajiv Kurupati. I practice hospital medicine, and I'm also trained in integrative medicine in the United States. Today's topic is on how to test magnesium in your body. You know, what is the best way to test magnesium? We see these days magnesium has become a talking point, has been commonly used by many practitioners. Even if the levels are, even if the serum or the blood magnesium levels are within the normal range, a lot of integrative medicine physicians, lifestyle medicine practitioners, functional medicine practitioners are giving magnesium supplements, even if the levels are normal. What is the reason behind it? Let us uh, dive into the testing part of magnesium today. Magnesium is what we call the cofactor in many enzymatic activities. It enables a lot of enzymatic activities. In fact, it was discovered that up to 350 enzymatic activities within our body, within our cells, has magnesium as um, some role to play in these activities, in these enzymatic activities. That is why it's called a cofactor or a coenzyme. And this enzymatic activities. So what happens when magnesium is low? All the metabolic processes slow down, some of them malfunction. So uh, a magnesium deficiency causes a variety of uh, disturbances within the body, um, which we will see later. But how do you test magnesium within the body? There are four ways to test it. One is serum magnesium. The second is magnesium in the urine. The third one is RBC magnesium, that is magnesium within the cell. Number four is magnesium loading test. You know, the, so there are four type of test, types of tests. So what is the most reliable way of doing it? They say that magnesium loading test, loading test is the most reliable way, but it is very cumbersome. Um, it involves loading of magnesium and retesting it and therefore RBC magnesium was found to be a very effective way of uh, testing the cellular magnesium. Why test cellular magnesium? It was found that 99% of all our magnesium within the body is found within the cells. So when you do the blood test for magnesium, it is only the 1% that you are testing. And it gets more interesting. Whenever the serum magnesium, that is the magnesium with outside the cells, you know, there is serum, there is cell, cells, right? So when the magnesium outside the cells drops, the cellular magnesium is released outside to compensate for the loss. So it is the cellular magnesium that is important, remember, because the cell, all the enzymatic activity happens within the cells, right? Most of the enzymatic important mitochondria, all these enzymatic activities happen within the cell with, and that too within the organelles within the cells. So when the magnesium within the cells drop, there is no way to test it if you if you're testing the blood magnesium level or the serum magnesium level. So when you test the normal serum magnesium level, which we do normally, and it comes back as normal, it does not mean that the cellular magnesium is also normal. So you test the cellular magnesium, and one way of doing it is to test red blood cell magnesium level. So if that level is low, then you replace the magnesium, even though the serum magnesium is within normal limits. And that is why we see that many physicians prescribing, especially the integrative medicine, lifestyle medicine, or the, or the physicians who, you know, sometimes the cardiologists prescribe magnesium, even if the serum magnesium level is within the normal limits. And this is the reason. It is because the cellular magnesium is more important than the serum magnesium. 99% of our magnesium is within the cells only 1% is within the serum or the blood. So hope you got something out of this. In future videos, we shall see more about these electrolytes and the magnesiums and the potassiums and the phosphorus and what are their benefits and when to replace them, how to test them and so on. So till we meet next time, stay healthy and stay safe friends.